Hey guys, it's me, 80s from 4 so today guys, I'm going to do my Barcelona versus Manchester United Europa League round of 32 preview, guys. So if you're new on here, considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well as we do our preview for the Europa League game, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the insights for this game, guys. So the insights, we have here, Barcelona and Manchester United have faced 13 times in all competitions. Six Barcelona wins, three Manchester United wins, four draws. The first three in the UEFA Cup, Winners' Cup, while each of the previous ten were in the UEFA Champions League. Barcelona won each of the last four mid matches in this fixture. The last side that Manchester United lost five consecutive matches against was Liverpool between the 2000 and 2002. Manchester United have won each of the last five matches in Europe. Only once have they won six games consecutive in European Cup, which is the first six games in the 1965-66 season in the European Cup. Barcelona lost four of the last... Five of the last 11 European matches I can now win to draw for the previous five such defeats were spread across 101 games in 2000-2020. Robert Lewandowski has scored 45 goals in his last 37 games in European Cup as well. He's been directly involved in nine goals across his last three appearances against English clubs. Keep note of this, guys. Two goals against Spurs in October 2019. One goal and two assists against Chelsea in February 2020. And another two goals and two assists against Chelsea in August 2020. That will be his first up this will be his first appearance against Manchester United. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. A lot to unpack there, guys. A lot to unpack. So let's go ahead and look into the uh, possible 11s. Let's actually start with Manchester United first. So Manchester United coming into this game. They come off a win against Leeds United at uh, St. Ellen Road. This is the team they lined up with. They started David De Gea and goal, which is to be expected. Delote is going to be the right back. Maguire started the game. Luke Shaw played at center back and Malesia. Now, keep in mind, guys, Lasano Martinez is suspended for the first leg. So, expect to see Shaw maybe be the center back option, you know, over the likes of Maguire and Lindelof. Obviously, Veron's going to start. Veron's going to didn't play the game because he was rested. And so, Veron's going to definitely start for this game. Uh, then obviously, uh, Casemiro will definitely start. You know, Casemiro didn't play this game because he was suspended. So Casemiro will probably replace Sabitzer, who is suspended, by the way, for this game. So we're going to probably see Fred and Casemiro be the midfield. Uh, the Rashford is going to be on the right, uh, left. And then obviously, Stryker is going to be White Horse. Cam is going to be Bruno Fernandes. And obviously, right flank is going to be uh, Jaden Sancho, you would expect. Maybe Garnacho, maybe. Maybe Palestri, I don't think so. I, I'm going to probably just assume. It's going to probably be Jaden Sancho, right? And the thing is, Manchester United this season have been amazing. Manchester United have been amazing this season. One of the top four, te- one of the teams in top form this season. And I look at this Manchester United team, and they're showing a lot of potential. I think this team is showing a lot of potential, showing a lot of character and growth. And they're playing so well at the moment. Their counterattacking is so well. Defensively, they look really solid as well. Their attack looks amazing. Um, that being said, though, Barcelona coming into this game in stellar form as well. Barcelona coming into this game with some pedigree. Uh, Momentum here with the win over Villarreal at their stadium at the um Estadio de la Samarca Stadium and Barcelona man they won the game man you know I'm looking at Ter Stegen he's gonna start the game left backs me Alejandro Balde Christensen Araujo Jules Kounde as our ba- back line and then obviously Cassie De Jong Pedri Rafinha Lewandowski and Gavi now as far as players at risk of suspension by the way I do want to make things very clear here let's actually look at the stats real quick for Barca. In your um Champions League, actually, let's look at the Champions League 2020 2003. I want to look at who's got the yellow cards because remember, guys, three yellows lead to a suspension, and I don't think yellow cards are reset until after the quarterfinals. So I don't know if it's going to show all the yellow cards here because that'll be very, very nice. So, uh, Busquets has got three yellow cards now. I believe Busquets has already served his in game suspension, I believe. Yeah, he's already served, and then Gavi. Gavi's risk of getting suspended because he's one yellow away from suspension. So if Gavi picks up a yellow against Manchester at the camp now, he will be suspended for Old Trafford, which could be a really, really big blow because obviously Busquets is out and obviously Kessie um, is going to fill in. So it's going to be very, very important that Kessie, um, it's going to be very, very important that if Barcelona keep their composure and don't let the game get to them. And obviously Busquets will be injured. Dembo is going to be injured. And then obviously for United, Sabitzer, Martinez is suspended. McTominay is out. Van de Beek is out. Christian Eriksen is out. Anthony is out. And Anthony Martial. Um, head-to-head for Manchester United have got two wins under their belt. Now, this is including friendlies. I think only in competitive games, only won one competitive game, which was the last time they won right here, which I believe is 2008. That's the last time they won. And I think that was uh, Skulls that scored the winner. Barcelona got five wins, man. Barcelona coming into this game in stellar, stellar form. 
you know? And I just think it's going to be really interesting to see how this one does because look at the t t form for both teams. Both teams are in stellar form. Unbeaten for both teams the last five games. Five wins and four wins, respectively. Okay? I think the key thing for this game, guys, is going to be how can Barcelona break how can Barcelona break down this United team? Because this United team will play in the counterattack. They're going to be playing counterattack in football. And it's very, very important that we can nullify the likes of Rashford and obviously um, the likes of, you know, Casemiro. You know, and I think it's very, very important that Barca keep their game in composure. Because I think what's going to be really, really important is that we stop Casemiro. Because Casemiro is very, very important for United. And I think with Casemiro, without Casemiro, there's a huge gulf in class. Casemiro makes United look so good. Their attack is amazing. Their defense is so good. Because people just think that Casemiro is very, very good for them defensively speaking. While that is true, I do agree with that. He's also very, very good attacking-wise as well. He's a huge attacking threat. So you, you got to be very careful with uh, Casemiro. He's very, very dangerous, okay? As well as the fact that you also have the likes that's going to... Um, you also have Rashford who's been in stellar form. He's been scoring goals consecutively in these kind of games. And it's very, very important that Rashford and Casemiro be on their A game because I think that's going to be very, very key for United to win this game. Because as good as Manchester United is, their attack is really the big concern I have. Because I'm looking at the likes of Bruno Fernandes who's not really been that clinical this season. Then I'm looking at Sancho, who's been kind of out of form. And obviously, Pellestri, Garnacho, they haven't really been that great. And I think for Barca, as I said, guys, Barca's attack has significantly been better. That being said, though, Usman Nebeli is going to be a big blow. I think that's a really, really big blow for Barcelona. So this would be my 11 that Barca should play against Manchester United. So goalkeeper is obviously going to be Mark andre Ter Stegen. No doubt about that whatsoever. Um, where is Ter Stegen? Ter Stegen... Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, right backs and obviously be Jules Kunde. Jules Kunde will be playing at the right back position. Of well, actually, you know what? I'm going to make a big decision, guys. I think Araujo should be playing at right back. Because I think Araujo can actually do a really good job on Marcus Rashford. And sort of like what Mar Araujo has done against Vinicius, I would actually do the same thing there. So I would actually put Kunde as a center back for this game. And then I would actually put Christensen as a center back for this game. Uh, and then left back is going to be Balde. Alex Balde would be playing this game. Why is he not on there? Uh, Balde, he should be there. There we go. CDM is obviously going to be Kessie. Kessie is going to be starting this game. And obviously, we're going to see De Jong. Um, and then Pedri. And then I have a feeling we're going to see Gavi be playing as a left winger. We're going to see Gavi be playing as a makeshift left winger. And then a striker is going to obviously be Lewandowski. Um, the Polish nuke, of course. And the right wing is going to be, um, I'm going to go, it's going to be Rafinha, of course. Rafinha is going to have to perform very well in this game, by the way, guys. It's very, very important that he turns up well in this game. So, it's going to be a very, very interesting to see what happens. My prediction for this game, guys, is I'm going to go for is, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I am going to go for a 1-1 draw for this game, guys. And see uh, what happens there, guys. A 1-1 draw. So, let's just see. Hopefully, I'm proven wrong. I just think that for me, United will just get. I think what's going to happen is I think Barca is going to actually take the lead in this game. And I think United is going to equalize the second half. I just have a feeling Barca is going to miss so many chances. And I just have a feeling United is going to equalize on the counterattack. I just I just don't trust Barca when it comes to playing against counterattacking teams. I just I just don't trust it. Hopefully, I'm proven wrong, though. And we'll see what happens. So, real guys, on Thursday, there will be a ma I will do a quick match reaction maybe on my friend's channel, United channel. And then I'll do a proper video analysis. Probably later that day, um, and then um, yeah, and then we'll probably discuss about the game for the late kickoff game. So at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. So remember, guys, to subscribe to get notified for that Europa League and Conference League stream on Thursday, guys. So remember, guys, if you're new out here, like this video, enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment down below, thoughts, comment section below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.